Hello everyone, and welcome to a new Nintendo DS Game Maker version 5.12 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to set up a simple tap to start menu. First of all, we'll close the pop up box, and as you can see, we have room 1. We are going to rename it tap to start menu. Remember, there's no spaces in between. If you want to use space, use a underscore. Okay, fantastic. Now we're gonna just gonna put this background, background one. We're gonna be calling it top of screen. Of course, you can add uh, the names that fit best for the project you're doing. And then I'm gonna load from file. Here I have a actual pre-made tap to start screen, part of a project that I'm currently making. So I'm going to be adding that and I'm going to be adding it as bottom arch screen. There we go, keeping it nice and organized. So now we'll go into onto the room. As you can see we have top screen, bottom screen, okay? So we're gonna be adding top screen the top of screen graphic and bottom screen, bottom touch screen. Fantastic, except we've got the screen set up. So now what we will be doing is we're going to be creating another room as well. So room two, we're just going to be calling this main menu. We're not going to be adding too much. This is just the tutorial to simply let you know how you can make a tap to touch screen. To, um, touch to start. Okay, so we're gonna have top of screen again, and I'm going to be having, uh, I'll have again top of screen, just so when we actually tap it, you can see the difference. Now we'll be going here, and we're going to be adding not a sprite, just a normal object. Yeah, it doesn't have to have a sprite. We're just gonna be calling it tap to start. There we go, perfect. Going to add event, step. And now we go to control. We add if stylus pressed. We add that there, and then we start, we put a start block. Then we add go to next room. Then end block. Perfect. And now this is it, we just put accept. And now what we do is we go to tap to start menu. We add in the bottom left, we add two instances of the tap to start button. So we have here on design, objects to plot, tap to start. And we're gonna be adding two here in the bottom corner. You can add more, it's fine. But uh, usually I go with two, accept. And now we should be able to run it. Go and test game, creating game. So you can see no errors, that's good. Press any key start, there we go. Boom, simple. That's it, a tap to start screen. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more tutorials.